Hi everyone, it's Mr. Vallejo. Welcome to class. Uh, happy Tuesday. Um, in celebration of Tuesday, I made myself a Tuesday taco. Mmm, like a street taco. I double up the tortilla. Only problem when I make street tacos is that I make them, I stuff them too much. So when I bite into it, mmm. Oh, this one's not doing it, but sometimes they'll fall apart. I like my tacos. They're really good, but mm, what I really would like is a carne asada burrito. So what I want to tell you about today is just that carne asada burritos. Now, when I was a student at UCLA, I used to have carne asada burritos all the time. The best place to get a carne, bur a carne asada burrito is always a hole in the wall, don't you think? Ooh, and when you find one of those, oh, it's the best. Now, when I was in college, my favorite hole in the wall burrito place was right here hard to see, isn't it? Well, it's right there. Still hard to see. It's Pepe's Tacos. Pepe's Tacos on Culver and uh, and and uh, Bundy or Sentinella uh, in Mar Vista. Pepe's Tacos, they made the best burritos. Uh, wrapped in foil with all that good stuff in it. <clears throat> Carne asada some rice, some pinto beans, ooh, pico de gallo, and then the secret ingredient, cilantro. Mm. I used to have these a lot. Now, I wouldn't say I was addicted to them, but I would eat them a lot. And then when I went to college, or after I graduated from college, and I moved away, I moved out to the area, I moved to the valley, well, took me a while, a long while, uh, to uh, find a, a different hole in the wall. And so I always wanted a carne asada burrito. So my quest was this, my journey was this, was to find the ultimate carne asada burrito. I searched high and low, I wanted to make one myself. And Viva La Raza, si se puede. I'm not of Mexican descent, I'm Filipino. So I didn't have anyone to ask. I didn't have a grandma. No tango abuelita. No, so how am I gonna learn how to make carne asada burritos so I can have one anytime? Well, back in the day, instead of going to your computer, and Googling it, well, we had to go to a building like this that had papers bound together of all kinds of different subjects it's called the Biblioteca, or for our Spanish speaking friends, the library. And so they would have these papers bound together, and you could get uh, what's called a book on all kinds of different subjects. If you want to read all the rules about NHL hockey, you can go borrow that 300-page book and read all the rules of NHL hockey. Um, you want to uh, read a story about a criminal who uh, goes and and goes to the and turns himself into the FBI so that he can help catch all these other criminals. You can read about that in a book. Well, finally, I found this book. Oh my goodness, Lo Mejor de la Cocina Mexicana. Oh, I was in heaven. I was about to have the ultimate carne asada burrito. So I took the book and I held it in my hands. And I went to the front of the library, which is called the circulation desk. I got out my little card from my wallet and I gave it 
to the librarian so I could, what we used to call, check out the book. I could take it for three weeks at a time. But guess what? The librarian says, no, that's a reference book. So you can't check it out. So I was stuck there with the perfect Mexican food recipe book. So what I did was I went to this machine. We used to call it a Xerox machine. That's the brand. So this is actually a, a copy machine. So we went. To, I went to the copy machine, put in a nickel, and I didn't need the whole book. All I needed was one page. <clears throat> and so at the copy machine, I put that big thick book in the very top. And then I pushed the button after I put in my nickel. And here's what I got. Ooh, okay, I got the recipe. I got these edges. And the slight OCD in me says, ooh, let's get rid of that stuff. So instead, what we did was we took the dark edges and cut them out. It's a paper cutter. We could cut out those nasty edges and clean it up until finally you get this yay so happy now we're ready to leave the library and go to the circulation desk again and this time the librarian says "Ooh, you may leave the library now so i run out of that building i run out of the biblioteca to my caro my 1971 Impala. This one doesn't have what mine. Mine had a, a uh, what they used to call a a rag top on it. But I hopped in the car, went to the kitchen at my house, and pulled out the recipe. That one page. Oh no, it's in Espanol. Bongo la carne a todo maquina la. Oh, I don't know what that says. <clears throat> Fortunately, at my home, there's my wife who speaks very good Espanol. And also at home, I have libros. I have books. I have this book that many of you recognize from your days in high school. And Espanol, and with the assistance of this book and my lovely wife, we got to turn this recipe, yay, into English. Lay the meat out flat and season liberally. Oh, that's what it said. Oh, and so with the help of a book, with the help of the biblioteca, with the help of a copy machine, I was able to have my carne asada burritos after all. I'm not addicted. I just eat them every day. But if you think this is the end, it's not. Because it's only the beginning. And that's because I also like a good torta. Mm. I love carne asada burritos. And I hope you do too. I hope this helps you learn about DNA. Happy Taco Tuesday.